All right, I had some viewers interested in looking at the FFT on this machine. Um, so let's go ahead and turn off, turn on a display of FFT, put that down at the bottom. And um, so what we have going on here is a, a wave generator. Um, our waveform generator is going to be set to one megahertz with a modulation of a hundred uh, of one kilohertz. 100% uh, modulation depth. All right, so uh, what we want to do then is say, okay, well, we want the center at uh, one megahertz, and now we're now we're in the center, and we want the span, let's say, to be, oh, we'll start at 50 kilohertz, and let's see, yep, there we go. Uh, but now we need more resolution bandwidth. So the readout is set to bin size. I like to set it to resolution bandwidth down here. And let me move this over a little bit. You can read the resolution bandwidth right here. It's set to 1.5 kilohertz. So if I change the uh, sweep of the uh, uh, horizontal, I'm going to be sampling more points. And now you see we're starting to see um, the separation of those signals and we have have here 100 hertz of resolution bandwidth. Let's change our Y scale to 1 TD, 10 dB. I'll make this a little bit bigger down here. And then we can change the uh, uh, Y offset. Uh, and we can use this button, that wheel here. There we go. Move it down a bit so we can see it nicely. Okay. Um, so, um, Let's zoom in even further. Um, let me let me go here just for, let's turn this off for a second, just to show you our actual signal, which is up at the top here. There is our uh, there is our signal. So we're getting uh, getting more valuable data now that we've increased the the uh, voltage gain. So now the uh, uh, waveform is looking better here at the bottom. Okay. All right, and we could go in. A little bit more resolution bandwidth. There you go. Even a little bit more. That was 150. This is 75. Okay, so 75 looks good. Let's change our span out to let's say 25 megahertz, uh, kilohertz, and now we can see these going a little bit further. Let's say 20. I think 20 will be good. 20 kilohertz. So there we go. There are our side bands for our AM modulation. Okay, now. Um, it does have advanced features, so you can go change uh, the windowing. Mm, and this is beyond the scope of this video, but, but you have uh, Hanning, Flat Top, Rectangular, Blackman, Harris, and Bartlett. So this is Hanning right now. And if I change it to um, Flat Top, you can see these guys change shape, and that's because we're we're actually viewing the shape of the filter here. So the uh, uh, Hanning looks like that, flat top, rectangular. Uh, so these are all valuable for certain reasons, and I don't remember what they are. Here is Blackman Harris. Um, I've used that many times. And here's Bartlett. So, yeah, uh, just default to Hanning. And there you go. Um, it does have an advanced FFT has uh, linear units or log units, detection type, samples, plus peak, minus peak, averaging, and normal. I've covered that before on, on uh, spectrum analyzer videos. Uh, vertical units, uh, we already did that. Um, another thing you can do is you can go to analysis precision, and that is how many data points is it using to get you the data down here. So right now it's set to 64,000 points. Um, and if we go to, let's say, 512K points, you can see that this gets much, much cleaner, but it's it, the sweep time is much, much slower allows you to go all the way up to 8 million points here. Let's do 2 million just to see how slow that is. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, everyone's going to say, well, do 8. Okay, we'll do 8. See how it goes.
It's going to take a while. There you go. I mean, that is not bad for 8 million data points. Um, so that helps you with signal to noise to be able to see things way down in the mud. Set it to 256 here. That's that's not a, that's a pretty good sample right there for 256. All right. Um, and we can close the one window here and then we can see the thing up in its all of its glory. So yeah, that is pretty good. This is these are 10 dB steps, so it's doing well. Um, let's go to uh, 20 dB steps so we can see more of what's going on. Look at the noise. There it is. There's the noise. Yeah, pretty good. I did show the um, uh, spectrum analyzer running in one of my um, videos where I was repairing a ham radio, but that's what you got going. Um, so you can do center span, you can do start stop. Um, yeah, everything like Spectrum Analyzer just has auto setup. Oh, let's try auto setup. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Don't push that. <laughs> All right, there you go.